if we all pull together and really work on things, use the best of what's out there, the outcome can be really spectacular. I grew up watching Star Trek with my grandfather, believe it or not. Um, and he was always uh, pretty enamored at the idea of going out and exploring. And... When I was in college, I got into a student group um, that was building rockets. I got to do hands-on projects and, and actually build things, and I really fell in love with it. One of the things that makes me really love being part of this industry is how often things seem impossible and then someone does them. And so when I think about like what I could do with my skill set, my time on the planet, I always thought it would be a good idea to expand the resources available to us. Space is where the infinite resources are. There's only so much stuff on Earth. And I don't care how much we can serve, there's only so much of it. I think that people realize now that there are still billions of people who are not connected to the internet. Sort of by definition, if people are still unconnected, the legacy solutions are not going to work with them. So that's where satellite comes in. Satellite is the way that you connect people anywhere on Earth, no matter where they are. We want to build 100 satellites by 2030. I think it's a huge injustice that there are people who don't have access to the internet today. Problems get solved faster, better, if more people in the world are contributing to them. And right now, there's just a huge pool of talent that's not able to contribute. Right now there is a huge demand to get satellites and spacecraft up off the ground and into space, but as a planet, we do not have enough rockets to get them there. We're trying to go faster and cheaper to that same level of performance, and that means we have to take a different approach. So this is where simulation comes in for us. Simulation for us is a force multiplier. It lets us try different ideas, right, and try them in a computer simulation or in a model, and try a bunch of different ideas very quickly. ANSYS is a, a real key partner for us in simulation because of the breadth of the tools that they offer in one standard platform, and then also the, their vision of actually solving the whole problem, whether that's through software on the back end or automation that we can add on top. This is a, like a, a real game changer for us and, and other users of that tool. On the day we actually launched it, there was a period of time where I was sitting there, I was just like standing there, the rocket is sitting far in the distance, it's huge and like big badass and scary. Here the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. 